to eternal life believed. And the only people that are really going to believe, I'm not talking about people that, that get emotionally stirred and make some kind of confession, for, say what I say and then tell them you're saved, you know, say the sinner's prayer, copy my words parrot fashion and tell them they're saved. No. Those that really do truly believe are the ones that were ordained. I want you to notice that verse. Underline it. Memorise it. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Under, underline that word ordained there. The word Ordain means to decree, an official order. That's what it means. To ordain, that means a decree. God commanded men everywhere to repent. He commanded his elect. He decreed. You and God decreed a people unto himself. Take a look at John 6, 37 to 39. It's in your notes. John 6, 37 to 39. All that the Father gives me shall come. Who's going to come? Not some. Not a few. All that the Father gives me will come. Now, not everyone's going to be saved. But all that the Father gives will come. Now, if you, if you take that in... If you take a look at that in, in line with the previous text we quoted in Acts 13 48, as many as were ordained to eternal life believed, and then we take a look at John 6 37 to 39, we see a consistency in this doctrine in Scripture. For all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me. I will in no wise cast out. Now, when it says an im, it's not talking about a different person. It's talking about the same person here. All that the Father gives me shall come. And him that cometh to me, same person here, I would say, to, I would say, every one of my employers will come to me. And they that come to me, I will pay them. It's not. It's not the different. It's not a different person here. It's not. So, it's not teaching as um, some of the Armenians try to make it say that God said, "Well, all that the Father gives me shall come." But there's another group of people that can choose. No, he's not saying that. It's saying it's the same person here. All that the Father gives me shall come. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him that sent me. Let's take a look at another, let's take a look at Paul, the chosen vessel here, in Acts chapter 9, and I'm reading from verse 10, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias, and to him and the Lord in a vision, I'll read that again, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias and to him said the Lord in a vision Ananias and he said behold I am here Lord and the Lord said unto him arise go unto the street which is called straight and inquire at the house of Judas for one called Saul now don't, that's not Judas's carrier by the way that's another Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus for behold, he prayeth, and have seen in a vision a man called Ananias coming in, and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. And Ananias answered and said, Lord, I have heard many things. I have met many of this man, how much evil he have done to the saints which are at Jerusalem. And here he have authority from the chief priest to bind all that call upon thy name. Now I want you to notice God's words to Ananias here. And the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. The reason that Paul 
was saved on the road to Damascus was because he was a chosen vessel. He's chosen vessel unto me to bear my name to the Gentiles. And kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. It's also Jesus only prayed for his elect. Now those people that love to quote John 3.16... For God so loved the world that make it look like, well, if that means every man, woman and child, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't say, for God so loved every man, woman and child. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And the reason for that is because up until that time, salvation was only of the Jews. Jesus told woman at the well, you worship, you know not what. For salvation is of the Jews. But now, when Jesus went on the cross, he died not only for the Jews, but for the Gentiles. So God's elect people is not <coughs> confined to um, Israel, but God's elect people are in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Australia, in Germany, in France, and all over the world. It doesn't mean everyone in the world, but it means that God's elect people are in the world, and, and that's what it means. So, and that's why Jesus didn't pray for the world. In fact, if you turn, if you, John chapter 17, verse 9, Jesus said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they shall shine. It's the elect that he's praying for. Now does God know all things? Of course he does. He knows who's going to be saved. He prays for his elect. Interesting verse of scripture again. That's um, Paul here speaking to Second Timothy. Uh, Paul writing to Timothy, he says in 2 Timothy 2.10, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may obtain, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ unto eternal glory. Notice, Paul was suffering, and he bore the suffering, and it, the Bible talks about the suffering he went through, he was shipwrecked, he was beaten, he went through all those kind of things, but he said, I'm doing it for the elect's sake, that they may receive salvation. Why didn't he say that he's suffering for every man in the world? Because Paul knew that God had elected a people unto himself. And he was suffering and bearing the suffering so that the gospel could go out. That is why when the Bible says that, referring to Jesus, that he is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish... What he means by that is not that is not that um, God doesn't know who's going to be saved, and he's just hoping someone's going to be saved. Because if that was true, Jesus could never return. He could never return to earth because he would think, "Oh well, you know, I better not come back today because that man next week he might he, he just might he, he might give his life to me. He might be saved. He might respond. So I can't do anything yet because." I may just, that person may be saved. No, God knows every single person that's going to be saved. He has elected people as he's saved. And he is long-suffering so that everyone that is, that is due to be saved will be saved. And in fact, he is long-suffering in that sense and is allowing things to go on because God knows when the final person, when the final one of his elect will be saved. And he will suffer as long as it takes. It, I don't know. It could be next year. God may have an elect person to be saved this year. The last elect person could have been saved two hours ago. In which case, we don't know. Or it could be next year. It could be 10 years or 20 years time. But God he is long-suffering. And he will stay as long as he likes. As long as it takes. Until the last one of his elect will be saved. And that is what. And if you take a look at that. When, when, when said about Jesus that he is long-suffering, 
not winning at any superiors, that means any of the elect. You take that with what Paul says, what Paul says here, but therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may obtain the salvation. We see, we take, we take that, we put them both together, and it makes sense to say that Jesus is long suffering, and he will long suffering not win any of his elect, any of it that he's chosen, any of those names that were written in the Lamb's Book of Life from before the foundation of the world, that everyone will be saved. That's the only logical way to look at it. Otherwise, you've got a Jesus in heaven that can never return because one person might. No. It's not whether you might be saved. God knows who's going to be saved. And he is elect to the people unto himself. Let's take a look at the word election here. Election here. The election means to decide something. To make a decision to do something. I'm re this is the Encarta World Dictionary. It also means to choose somebody for salvation. That's what it means. And if you take a look at the context of the Bible on there, it means to choose somebody for salvation. You were elected by God. You didn't elect God to be your saviour. He elected you to be saved. He made that decision. Choose somebody to choose somebody by the divine will for salvation. That's what the Encarta World Dictionary says. Some do not like the fact that God has an elect people that he has chosen. But the Bible over and over again calls us the elect. That's what he calls us. Let's take a look at a few verses of the scripture that makes it clear. Matthew 24, 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Notice who it's shortened for? The elect's sake. Matthew 24, 24. For there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. If it were possible, but it's not possible. God's elect will not be deceived. Because he will keep us from deception. But it's only the, only the elect will be protected. Matthew 24, verse 31. And he sh shall send his angel to a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. The preaching, when you, when you and I go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, God uses the gospel message to draw the people that he has elected to salvation, and he gathers his elect. He gathers them from all over the world. He's got his elect people in Barbados, in Jamaica, in Germany, in France, in Ghana, in Nigeria, even in Malaysia, I guess. One or two, one or two in England, maybe. <laughs> okay, Luke 18, verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, Lo, he bear long with them. Again, here we go, lo, he bear long with them. Take that, with, take that with the scripture. That he is not long, that he is long suffering, not any that when he's any should perish. 